For wild animals, natural conditions remain the best place to exist. But sometimes the lives of their offspring entirely depend on humans. This time, help was needed for a palace's cat cub. Its mother settled in an abandoned railway car, and when people came to take her to repair, she got scared and ran away into the woods, leaving her baby behind. Today's article is dedicated to the wild kitten that was taken in by humans. The family Kiraluk decided to take care of the foundling. They started calling the kitten Dashin Budlanovna, in honor of the mountain near which she was born. Since the animal was dehydrated, they first rehydrated her with a saline solution, and only then introduced milk. Soon, Dasha learned to drink from a baby bottle on her own. After each feeding, her belly was massaged, just like adults do. A makeshift den was made out of a cardboard box for Dasha. When the little cat started feeling better, they began feeding her a special formula, and at a month and a half old, she was given a taste of meat. Dasha felt quite comfortable in the human home. Like domestic cats, she loved climbing on the couch and bed. But at night, she always went back to her den. When Dasha was a month and a half old, her eyes turned yellow, and her face gained a stern look. A couple of months later, they began letting her outside. At first, she didn't stray far from her owners. Dasha's favorite activity was sharpening her claws. Palace's cats are known for their extremely sharp and long claws, and this applies to their cubs as well. In the family, besides Dasha, there are two female cats and a male cat. At first, the domestic pets didn't want to accept the little Palace's cat and kept chasing her away. But with time, their relationship improved. Now, the wild cat sleeps next to the domestic pet. Dasha didn't treat all family members the same. She only developed warm relations with the lady of the house. Every morning, Dasha would sit on the windowsill and gaze out the window. During the night and early morning, she tried not to make any noise. Otherwise, she was very active. If Dasha started licking a hand, it meant she was hungry. And if any of the owners opened the fridge, she would immediately come over, standing on her hind legs, hoping to get a piece of meat. In this aspect, she was very similar to ordinary domestic cats. Then came the time to decide what to do next with the predator. No one wanted to give her to the zoo, and keeping such an animal at home became dangerous. The best decision was to release her into the wild. The people decided to take her to the territory of the Dursky Nature Reserve, where her relatives lived. Dasha immediately ran into the forest, but she was brought back to get used to her den. Every day, Dasha explored the territory. That's how her new adult life began.